Hello everyone, Chris Tomshack from HealthSource. This has been an interesting week, and I think you can agree with that. It's been filled with thoughts, articles, videos, TV programs, all about 9-11. If you ask anyone over the age of 55 what they were doing, however, when they heard that President Kennedy had been killed, they can tell you pretty much exactly what was going on in their lives. They can tell you what they were feeling, what their emotions were all about in perfect detail. The same now can be said for all of you watching this right now as it concerns 9-11. What were you doing when you found out that a plane had hit the first of the Twin Towers? What were your thoughts? What were your emotions? What were your fears? And then what did you feel when the second tower was hit, when you knew something was seriously wrong? I was taking care of patients the morning of 9-11, and one of the doctors working in my practice told me about the first strike. He had heard about it as he was driving into work. I quickly turned on the TV and found out about the second as it was sort of as it was occurring bewilderment and dismay and uncertainty set in my mind I numbly kind of sort of took care of my patients while my mind was racing forward I was certain I'd be called back to active duty in the Air Force and what would the future hold then a hysterical patient I'll never forget her name was Pam she came kind of like running into the office and she told me we're at war Dr. Tomshack we're at war she sort of jumped the proverbial gun on her assessment but Pam was kind of like that, and a lot of people had those thoughts and emotions that day, as did I. Think of the changes our country has experienced since 9-11. Massive changes. This past weekend, I was in London working, with, working on a, a large project with Dr. James Chestnut, and let me tell you, it was an absolute chore to get out of and back into America, let alone Great Britain. I had every shred of clothing, every shred, taken out of my carry-on bag and my backpack, which was meticulously searched while a throng of onlookers just, sit, just stood there and watched, almost numbly. They knew it was going to happen to them. Apparently, I must, must look like some sort of a menacing terrorist, whatever that is. It's nothing like it used to be as it concerns travel. You know, but all that taken into account, we still live in the greatest country on the planet. I mean, yes, we've got some issues. America's got some very, very large ones indeed. But we still have an incredible country that provides wonderful opportunity for advancement, for you realizing your vision. There's no other country on the planet that offers that. You know, what are you doing to maximize your opportunities today? You know, in our, in, in our great country, we have the most amazing profession of chiropractic. We can help millions of people achieve better health and wellness by simply providing awesome care for them while educating them on what real wellness care is all about. Real wellness care. It's about reducing or eliminating chronic disease, which we can teach them about and be the catalyst for change in their lives so they can get off the drug and surgery roller coaster of disease care in America. We don't have a health care system in America. You guys know this. We have a disease care in America. And remember, almost all chronic disease is from poor lifestyle choices that you can change. You can be the catalyst for change in your patients' lives if you have the correct information and if you can deliver the goods. Do you know how to do it? Do you know how to expose and teach your patients and your, your entire community about real wellness care? Uh, wellness care that includes chiropractic as one of the spokes in the wheel? If you don't, who will? Who's going to change it? It is our moral obligation as chiropractors to be that catalyst, the one to lead your patients to better health and longevity, to change their health. Chiropractic adjusting is one of the spokes. There are many, many more, and you should master them so that you are the catalyst for change and the authority in your city. Yes, since 9-11, we have certainly lost some of our liberties. No one's going to argue that. And the world is a more dangerous place to us, certainly, at least in our perceptions. But huge opportunity exists right in your community for your population and for you and your team. Seize the opportunity now while you still can. It means you must learn about and be much more educated on what real wellness care is. You can do it. You can absolutely do it. You've got the foundation. Questions? Shoot me an email at drchristomshack at healthsourcechiro.com. Be the catalyst for change.